Hi, my name is Adam Devine with Ranger Point Precision. Today I'm going to show you how to install one of our new RPP extractor claws in an 1894. I have in front of me a pretty typical 1894 chambered at 44 mag. It's had the furniture removed because we do a lot of test bidding on it, but otherwise it's pretty straightforward, probably much like the one you have in front of you. So join me for just a moment. It'll help you get that retaining pin out of the bolt. Here's the RPP extractor itself, and you can see that it's in a clear plastic tube. Through the tube, you'll be able to see the, the compression spring, and you'll want to be very careful as you pull that tube, that packing tube away, so that the spring doesn't get away. In the event that the spring does get away, we do provide a second spring. It's not a different rate, it's just a backup because we figure sooner or later somebody's going to launch one across the room and not find it. So off we go. Uh, we'll need to open our rifle, check the chamber to make sure that it's empty. You can shut the lever about halfway, remove the pivot screw for the lever. The lever will simply drop out the bottom of the receiver. The bolt will slide out the back. It helps to compress the hammer down and get it out of the way and that bolt will simply slide straight out the back of the receiver. Don't forget that you've got an ejector sitting in its channel in the receiver and it's best to just go ahead and pull that out so it doesn't get lost as you move the rifle around. We're going to put the rifle aside. I've got a punch block here. You don't have to have a professional punch block, but you'll need some sort of support for your bolt as you drive this pin out. You're going to want to flip the bolt upside down. The retaining pin is directly back from the extractor claw itself. It's the only solid pin in the bolt. The other two are roll pins. You want to put this upside down. The retaining pin should always be driven out from the bottom to the top. This one came out pretty easy. A lot of them, if they've never been removed before, will be very tight and you may have to smack that punch quite a few times to get it out. The extractor claw is there. All you need to do is hook it with a fingernail and pull it out. And we're ready to put our factory, our new RPP claw back in. Okay, so we're ready to install the new RPP extractor. You want to grasp that extractor and pull it up just a little bit to help compress that spring inside the tube. It'll allow it to slide out easier. Keep your index finger above the spring as it moves out of the tube and that'll keep it from launching. So just slide the tube off and keep that spring captive. Once you insert the extractor assembly into the bolt, it, the bolt itself will capture that spring and it's no longer in danger of launching. So slide the extractor in and if you look at the top through the pinhole, you'll be able to see when the, the pinhole in the extractor actually aligns. Just keep sliding it back until you've got a, a clear opening where that pin is. Take your retaining pin, start it through the top this time. Use your punch once again, and you're gonna to wanna to punch that down until it's just below flush. Make sure it's not sticking up otherwise your bolt will not go back in the rifle. This is a good time to do a quick check on the extractor. Make sure that the extractor moves easily and snaps back into place. If you have a case, it's a good idea to go ahead and put that in there and make sure that it's grabbing the case head properly. There should be just a little bit of rocking motion under the claw, but not much. So we've checked that. Now we can go ahead and put it back in our rifle. The reverse of the way we did this before. The ejector goes into its, its channel with the positioning tab through the side of the receiver. Bolt slides in. Get that hammer out of the way to make it easier on yourself. Lever goes straight in from the bottom of the receiver and may have to feel around for the bolt slot just a little bit. And then the pivot pin goes back in. And we're ready to go.